It's been a really, really messed up week. Seven days of torture, seven days of bitter, and my girlfriend ain't cheated on me. She's a California dime, but it's time for me to quit her. La la la, whatever. La la la, it doesn't matter. La la la, oh well. La la la, we're going at it tonight, tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put your hands together for your hostess for this evening, Petra. Cookies. Who stole the cookies? Um, well, I can tell you it wasn't me. Uh -oh. Was that you, sir? Uh, it might have been. <laughs> it who might have been. He looks <laughs> guilty. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our line is who stole the cookies? Who stole the cookies? First line, last line, clap it up there! Who stole the cookies? I was really hungry, man. I'm sorry. 
sorry. They don't tasted you, really good. Well, don't you know how to share? They <laughs> tasted really the delicious. delicious. They tasted really delicious. That's not what I asked. I asked, paper or plastic? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors? <laughs>
Okay, can we get even more specific? What, where would the bathroom be? What store or building would it be in? Dunkin' Donuts. The Dunkin' Donuts bathroom. <laughs> now, in our classes, we talk about um, working to the top of our intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> Boris <laughs> Bueller, welcome to bedroom attending school. <laughs> at Dunkin' Donuts. Well, are you supposed to be training me? Yes, can you not tell from my uniform and crown? <laughs> <laughs> can you not tell from all of my thrones? <laughs> uh, I, I know a little bit, but you can teach me if you want. Well, I, you know. I'm in the men's bathroom, so I thought I might bring some new light to the situation. They say the bathroom at Dunkin' Donuts very different. Lots of donuts eating, they need lots and lots of meat. Uh, lots and lots of what? Meat. Meat? Uh, not meat. Uh, meat like peppermint and peppermint. Hard foodie breath. Oh, okay. Glaze smells very bad. that bad breath. <laughs> <laughs> Donuts make your breath smell that bad? <laughs> I don't know about all these breath mints. I mean, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think they should just let us go. I like the natural smell. <laughs> Money to centive? Is it like five centive? Oh, five centive. Not to tip best. <laughs> <laughs> Run tip best. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes they don't tip and you get mad, but you just kind of shake fists as they leave. Look, is it silent? You you try, you try to shake. Tell me a color. 
Pink is my favorite color, okay? Pink is my favorite color. So those are the only two lines of dialect that they can say. Remind us what you have, Jean? What's that smell? And? That I'm sorry, say that louder, please. That heart. Thank you. That was a hint. So, <laughs> how much does that cost? And? Pink's my favorite color. Excellent, very good. Now, the next thing that we need for this scene is a location, something that these people are doing that might have a little bit of activity to them. Prison. In case we didn't really quite get there, family friendly show. But I will say this we do have adult oriented shows. We have 18 plus shows, and even those are naughty, not nasty. Thursday nights for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the month, summer, no. Uh, dysfunctional holiday gathering. So uh, maybe Santa prison Flower would be Island. acceptable for them. We've already covered bathroom. So thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Makeup counter? Yeah. Like at a department store. Okay, makeup counter at a department store. Remind us one more time. What's that smell? And that hurt. And how much does that cost? And what? pink is my favorite color. Clap it up for that! We are going to have a wonderful selection this season. As you can see, the first lipstick we are trying to sell is of the pink variety, the rose. Pink's my favorite color! <laughs> <laughs> my favorite color! That hurt! <laughs> your break all right now after the um lipstick we're also giving out a nice shade of lip gloss to go over the pink it's not pink it's clear <laughs> that it's male it's the lip gloss it's scented look <laughs> <laughs> what's it smell oh it smells like chocolate doesn't how it? much does that cost it cut it's complimentary with the lipstick yes you get them together all 25 dollars see isn't this a great sale <laughs> yes what's this male Oh, oh, that's this candle I've been scenting. Yes. And how much is that for? How much? I don't Does know. That cost? They, they had it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, so, what is it? All right, so we've got the lipstick, the lip gloss. Oh yes, and the wonderful foundation we'll be selling. So you, you ladies look like you use a lot of foundation. <laughs> <laughs> and then eventually hopefully get to some kind of conclusion that makes a little bit of sense. We don't know. Uh, but the first thing I need is a person's name. You, sir, may I have a name? It does not have to be yours. John. John. That was creative. <laughs> <laughs> Classes start January 12th. <laughs> um, uh, the lady with the white jacket. I need your favorite place to go on vacation. Disney World, excellent. And you, sir, in the one, two, three, fourth row, uh, if you could tell me a chore at home you do not like to do. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> me some. I, I need a like family friendly <laughs> trip. Uh, um, cleaning the cleaning the bathroom. Uh. <laughs> laundry, thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, so John does laundry at Disney World. What's the title of my story? John does laundry at Disney World. Hey, there are five of you. Can we try that one more time? John does laundry at Disney World. Anybody could come and wear pink. <laughs> and the name of that special day was. <laughs> pink Delicious! <laughs> pink! Oh, pink. Oh. And how much does it cost? <laughs> but anyway, what were we saying? Yeah. So uh, there was Nicky, and he was wearing pink, and you know, he just loves it. And the fluorescent lights made it actually look bright blue, so he was quite happy. <laughs> so, we said, enough is enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, no more pink. We're going to change it. We're going to put the regular costumes back on everyone, and then we're going to make John wear pink, because John hates pink, and he hates pink. And so he can change any color he wants because John works at Disney World in the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> and the moral of the story is, don't promote the bathroom attendant to work in the laundry room. <laughs> Yes, exactly. And uh, some of you might be lucky. 
lucky because they might be on half price by the time the show's over. <laughs> uh, okay, so Secret Wants is a game where Tammy has to figure out what's going on. Yvonne wants something. She has a secret want, and she is not willing to actually say it out loud. She has to beat around the bush, give some subtext, so that Tammy guesses what it is without Yvonne actually saying any of the words. So we're looking for something that Yvonne really wants for Tammy to do, to Tammy, for Tammy to give to her, for Tammy to make for her. Dragon. A dragon. Orangutan. An orangutan. A party dress. dress. A party dress. A Christmas stocking. Snowman. A snowman. Yeah. Oh, I am going to so yes and that. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, yes and is the theory of improv. It's where you accept something and then build on it. So we are going to have Yvonne wanting Tammy to build a snowman. I want a salmon color snowman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sleepy boy, these are students. <laughs> uh, maybe at a regular show we can do a salmon color snowman. In fact, we will. <laughs> uh, except that I have to pay attention to who's in the room so that I can give it to somebody who is not here. Okay, I know of players that are here now. All right, so we are going to bring Tammy in, and Yvonne is going to figure out a way to let her know that she wants a, her, for Tammy to build a snowman. Now, we're going to help Tammy a little bit if she needs it. If she's getting close to saying snowman, if she says snow fort or igloo or something, we're going to snap for her. So let her know she's on the right track, and then when she actually get it, gets it, we're going to it. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to look for Tammy to build a snowman for Yvonne. Clap it up for that! Why are you thinking about vegetables? Oh, you know this diet. 
And I've been trying so hard not to eat meat. I really like carrots. You know, that's a brilliant idea. I was thinking that. Yeah. Oh, I love you. That's why we're friends. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, what else can we do with a carrot besides eat it? <laughs>
What am I getting for Christmas? Oh. No. Hey guys. What is that pretty girl in the back row getting for Christmas? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely. Nothing. <laughs> a better answer come to our Eighteen and Up show. <laughs> uh, anybody else have a question? How does time travel work? How does time travel work? Wow, this is going to be good. How does time travel work? Very. Very. Slowly. <laughs> How can Santa, how can Santa arrive and give presents at midnight for everybody? It's called the magic of Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. How does Santa deliver, pre deliver presents to everyone on one night? Because he is magical. <laughs> How did they get that pineapple under the sea? <laughs> Just how did they get that pineapple under the sea? Sponge. Bob. Square pants. <laughs> Paid. Many. Dollars. For. All of. The <laughs> <laughs> Contractors. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, what is the meaning of life? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> All right, Alan, are you ready for the meaning of life? <laughs> Please. Don't you know it all? What is the meaning of life? Me. <laughs> Check it out, Carolina. Yeah, hmm. 
CarolinaImprov.com, uh, and you can see all the information. Uh, we also have, of course, lots of shows. Thursday, Friday, Saturday for the rest of the month. Thursday night is uh, the uh, 18 plus show. Friday and Saturday are family friendly, similar to this. So I hope that you will check it out. In fact, to encourage you, as you leave tonight, everybody's going to get a dollar off coupon. Woo! Yay! Woo! And they're actually good for up to four people. So you can, <coughs> not just you can come back, but as many other people as you would like to bring as well. So hooray for that. Public service announcement's over. Let's do a game of freeze tag with Bobby, Sue, Jessica, Lindsay, Kevin, and called freeze tag as I just said and this one is kind of fun because they are going to do some strange um, scenes that require a little bit of physical movement and at some point during the scene there's going to be two people out there someone is going to see something crazy they're going to clap yell freeze and they're going to take the position that the other person is in and continue in a brand new scene based on that physical position they're going to take the exact physical position. That was a hint for the students. <laughs> yes, it's not about lines. This is about physical positions. So uh, what we need for the very first scene is just a single word. Any word at all? Bubble. Bubble. Bubble it is. Our very first scene is going to be about a bubble in some way. And then you're going to see a series of scenes by the rest of the group. Clap it up for them. Well, 
Most of the men need help. Freeze. No. I swear to goodness, Ma. They call me the Hulk for a reason. I wanted a Barbie for Christmas. Freeze. <laughs> I'm a little deep, short and <laughs> Nicely done. Very good. All right. Our next game is Pieces of Paper with Yvonne and Lindsay. <laughs>
gray sky. All right, I've got the shots ready. We're gonna be. You want me to give you yours first? I, I need a shot. I mean, it's the utility company. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> I'll give you a shot first. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then you give me. All right, ready? Oh, oh I don't like blood. I'm afraid of needle. Wait a minute. Yeah. You're gonna be a nurse. Do you have any gum? <laughs> it, it'll help. It'll help with the needles. Here. Okay. Open up. There you go. Oh. Oh. Now I gotta get another one. <laughs> <laughs>
Any word, doesn't have to be snazzy. Cat. Cat. <laughs> that wasn't snazzy. That was funny. <laughs> cat. The word is cat. So the very first scene is going to be about a cat. After that, it's anything goes. Clap it out for questions. Did you pick up another one on the end of the rope? <laughs> Would you believe it just kind of jumped into my hand? <laughs> Do I look like I'm crazy? <laughs> Is it okay if I don't answer that? <laughs> <laughs> you <You're> look smart. <laughs> yeah, what's up? <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Did I see you at that party last night? Are you talking about Bill? Was there any other party in town, know what I mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Mabel, when does the bus get here? Whenever it gets here. <laughs> oh my, do I look like I'm listening? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Where are we going? No idea. <laughs> Do you like to sing? Yes, no. <laughs> Do I have good stage presence? <laughs> that wasn't really a question. <laughs> Where do you see my dog? Red, why? Because <laughs> I love him. Oh. <laughs> George, Mom, how come you never take me out publicly? <laughs> <laughs> are those my shoes? Did you lock them to me? <laughs> Why are you wearing them? Am I wearing them? They're not on your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, can I have the sneakers? <laughs> What's with the foot? <laughs> Didn't you feel the passion? <laughs> Which they were. <laughs> 